Hello, I haven't recorded any WWE trading card videos over the past few weeks. The reason for that is right here. The collector's album was announced a few days or weeks later and then it was postponed or delayed a few times and then I think three, four weeks ago at the end of August it was actually released. I've had it on my table for a few weeks, uh, couldn't find the time to record too much on my plate, not enough time for to eat, so to speak. But in here, this didn't cost too much, we have a collector's album and three packs, and I still have quite some other packs in here. Let's just open it. Always more fun when you have a real album, you can even expect that for the, the trading cards, so this is more colder than an actual album, I think. So we have three more of these packs. And it will be a lot of fun to put the cards that I already have in here. So yeah, it's actually just... Okay, I expected a little bit more of that. But at least we get this checklist. Yeah, these are not stickers, these are cards, so what else should you... But I thought it would look a bit different, not just blank like this. But it is numbered and you get this material here, the checklist tells us there are 100 base cards, 40 legends cards, 20 champions cards and then you got the four different colors and do I put them all in the same spot here or what? We have 468 um, I don't quite get this do we have something here as well? Ah, continuous here. Oops, Salah. And now I throw it on the camera. Hello. So here we got more information. Twenty champions cards. And each one has their own number and then we can put it in here so if I knew that <laughs> this is only this would only be this then I probably would not have waited so long but anyway let's see what cards we have in here so we get Xia Li or Xia Li or however you pronounce it in Chinese I like her the white version Zaili from Chongqing, China. Growing up in Chongqing, China, Zaili considered WWE Hall of Famer The Rock her inspiration to follow her dreams to be off become a superstar and sign up for trials in her homeland. Lee crushed it in her trial with her sensational array of martial arts kicks and became the first Chinese born woman in WWE. Then we get Omos, also the white card. Number 94, Xia Li, by the way, is number 65. Almost, Monday Night Raw. The massive Almost has quite simply gone on a rampage since ending his former championship partnership with AJ Styles. The 7 foot 3 powerhouse earned a paradigm shifting victory over Styles on Raw in a singles match. Then it took the combined efforts of six superstars to eliminate him from the 2022 Royal Rumble. Why don't they give his hometown here? So then we got Dana Brooke. Also White from Cleveland, Ohio, number 58. Dana Brooke earned her first WWE 24-7 championship. Is there also a champion's card for her or for that title? Not sure. When she defeated Cedric Alexander on Raw with a man who held the title the longest, Reggie, by her side, Brooke went on to a formidable reign, defeating every woman and man who tried to take the one WWE title that's always on the line. And we got Nikki Bella. She's in here. The girl in the white card legends, number 116 from San Diego, California. Nikki Bella played a huge role in ushering in WWE's women's evolution. Her WWE Hall of Fame career was anchored on both her embrace of feminine empowerment and her sensational skills in the ring. Her 306 day reign as WWE Divas Champion went into the history books as the longest in their titles history. Yeah, if you didn't know. Nikki Bella and Stephanie McMahon in Invented Women. 
And here we got one. Mandy Rose, a champion's card, NXT champion. Number 158 from Yorktown Heights, New York. Mandy Rose and her Toxic Attraction faction have become all the rage in NXT and swept all the gold. At Halloween Havoc 2021, Rose toppled Raquel Gonzalez to win the NXT Women's Championship and on the same night as teammates Gigi Dolan and JC Jane captured the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. So we got two more packs. Not gonna film how I put them into the album. So we got Randy Orton, not the champion's card, the normal one, also in white. Number 16 from St. Louis, Missouri. Randy Orton is one of the rarest of superstars, a third generation competitor. His grandfather, Bob Orton Sr., teamed with inaugural WWE Champion Buddy Rogers. His father, Cowboy Bob Orton, is a WWE Hall of Famer. Given Randy has won 10 WWE Championships, it's safe to say he has upheld the family name. The Miz, also white. Number 64, Monday Night Raw from Hollywood, California. The Miz talked about the mindset it takes to be a WWE superstar. Quote, we are the WWE and our job is to entertain an audience and create moments that will last a lifetime, he said. With an attitude like that, no wonder The Miz has become one of WWE's most enduring superstars. There we got Viva La Raza, Eddie Guerrero, a Legends card, also white. Number 111 from El Paso, Texas. The Guerreros are to Lucha Libre what famous families such as the Rhodes Clan and the Van Eriks are to sports entertainment in the US. True icons. Eddie Guerrero soared to the greatest heights of all the sons of Gory Guerrero, forever enshrining the family name in the WWE Hall of Fame. And then, my god, wow! A gold card. I think this is only my second gold card. Sasha Banks. She's on the cover of the bags here. Maybe she will back soon. Sasha Banks, number 25 from Boston, Mass. Sasha Banks is the cousin of hip-hop legend and WWE Hall of Famer Snoop Dogg. And over the course of her career, she has accumulated enough bling to rival her rapping family member. Among the gold Banks has held during her illustrious run are both the SmackDown and Raw Women's Championships. And yeah. A gold card to add to that bling. Then we got Big E. I think I got him already as champion card, a white version. Number 142 from Tampa, Florida. Long noted as one of WWE's most accomplished tag team competitors, Big E became a singles world champion for the first time when he defeated the almighty Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. The New Day member held the title with a fixed distinction during a 110 day reign. Yeah, since it has been a while um, since I recorded the last video, I need to check out which cards I already have, may have forgotten about it, but Big E looks very familiar. And I'll put all the cards in the album, and then I'll continue. Bianca Belair, white card, number 38, Monday Night Raw from Knoxville, Tennessee. Bianca Belair recently had a chance to live out a dream as she got a chance to meet one of her childhood idols, track and field legend Jackie Joyner Kersey, as WWE celebrated Black History Month. Belair was thrilled to explain to Joyner Kersey how her sensational success inspired her to a WWE superstar. To become a WWE superstar. And we got Drew McIntyre, also white. Number 70 from IR Scotland. Friday Night Smackdown. When Drew McIntyre earned a tremendous victory in the 2020 Royal Rumble, he sent 42,715 in attendance at Houston's Minute Maid Park into Delorious delirious glee that was just the start of big things for the scottish warrior who went on from there to earn his first wwe championship at wrestlemania 36. the undertaker white legends card number 104 from death valley many a wwe superstar have tried to take undertaker down a few packs over the years and they all learn a hard lesson this wwe all-time great is immortal whether they end up on the receiving end of the tombstone, a choke slam, or the last ride, they all inevitably go down to defeat at the hands of a true legend. And then we get a red card. John Cena. I think I don't have this one already. Just with the WWE logo, he does not get the legends treatment already. Number 95 from West Newberry, Massachusetts. John Cena was recently featured in GQ. And the all-time great WWE superstar revealed that he is making adjustments to his workout routine he believes will allow him to stay fit for decades to come. 
I have a 40,000 foot perspective, Sina said. It's a lot more work on flexibility and a lot more warming up. And then we got Roman Reigns. I definitely got this one again already. I think I don't need to read it out. Yeah, I'll put it in the album. Even though I expected a little bit more, it still helps. And it will probably look good. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.